after missing some time? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I'm feeling better uh, these last couple of days, so I'm on I'm on the right track. I saw the play where you were kind of like looked like you slipped and then you came up grabbing your back. What exactly happened on that play? Yeah, I just I don't know. I just reached, went for a steal and I just thought I tweaked it, ran up and down the floor a couple of times and couldn't really run, so I just asked for a sub and went, went to the back. You ever have to deal with anything like this before? No, I never had a back injury before, so it's new to me. But um, we have good team doctors, physicians, trainers. So, are they just calling it back stiffness, or is there something that they're saying that you did? Yeah, just back stiffness. All right now, back spasms, whatever you want to call that. So, cool. Did you think it was going to cost you a game? Uh, yeah, I knew probably when I went, when I went to the locker room, I'd probably be out for a little bit. So. Um, but we got the best best people, uh, medical team, so uh, I'm in good hands. What were some of the things you had to go through? Uh, really just stretching, um, trying to get like the, the stiffness out and things like that. So um, I've, pretty, I've done treatment three times a day for the last three, four days, so um, it's a variety of things. Have you learned anything from watching from the bench uh, the last two, day, last two games? Yeah, I mean, it's different watching from the bench. Uh, being on the court, you see different things, but um, I think our team has been playing well, um, down the stretch especially. Um, but, nah, um, I mean, we got things that we need to work on still. We're not perfect in any way, um, but uh, I feel like we're, we're on the right track. Is it fun to play in an offense like this? It's just like no hold bar, you guys are scoring left and right? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's really fun. Uh, it kind of reminds me of playing at Iowa, just being really high scoring team, fast paced, uh, free flowing team. So um, this is this is right up my alley. How much evaluation of your own game did you do in the time away? Yeah, um, I watch film my stuff every day. So um, just looking back on what I've done good, what I've done bad, um, things that I need to improve on going through, going through the season. So um, it's been ups and downs so far, but there's 60 some games left in the year. So um, ready for improvement. Anything stand out either way? Both sides of the ball, um, times where I can be aggressive, um, offensively, defensively, things like that, um, and coverages, rotation. So there's there's a lot of things. Uh, I'm not I haven't played perfect basketball in any any way this year. Overall, how is it's very early, but how do you think your rookie season has gone, given the challenges you've faced on and off the court, and and you know now this this injury also. Yeah, I think obviously it's had its ups and downs. Um, but at the end of the day, I came to Sacramento to win games. Um, and however that happens is, is how I want it to happen. So we're winning games right now. That's all I could really ask for um, in coming here. So um, I feel like it's, it's turning up in the right track. And I've learned from a lot of experiences this year so far. What's the conversation like amongst you guys about trying to end the homestand on a high note or keep this win streak going along on, on Sunday? Yeah, we're just taking one game at a time. At the end of the day, we're playing NBA teams, NBA players, so anyone can get hot on every, any given day. So to overlook a team, um, something you can't do um, in the NBA. So we're 100% locked in um, on tomorrow. Um, we're excited uh, to go at it tomorrow. A couple more it, guys. How has it been uh, working under under Mike Brown and just sort of his the way like his positivity and the way he runs everything here? Yeah, he's definitely definitely a player's coach. Relates to a lot of us in different ways. Um, but he's a guy who he's always going to bring enthusiasm. And I've learned a lot, especially on the defensive side of the ball. He's always on me, always going to stay on me. So that's all I could ask for in a coach. Because when coach coach stops caring about you is when um, when he's giving up on you. So I know that he, he cares about me and, and what I'm doing. 14 games Two more. in your NBA career. Like, what's been the biggest adjustment for you, either on or off the court? Yeah, I think it's just uh, – I, it's just knowing like what to do uh, defensively. I think that's the biggest adjustment for me, and just because I'm guarding multiple positions on every single night, every single game. So uh, adjusting in that way has been the biggest biggest adjustment. What do you think the key has been in terms of offensively being able to move the ball and find spacing and cutters and, and all that stuff? You guys have developed a lot of chemistry in a new system pretty early in the season. Yeah, I think it's just been uh, just knowing that that a guy can make the next play. I think that's been the biggest thing, um, knowing that if you pass the ball, no guy's going to make the right play. So I think throughout these 14 games, we've gained trust in each other in that aspect. All right. Thank you, guys.